Hi, I'm Malit Chachere and welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. We produce long-term data sets on aerosol particles in the atmosphere. These particles are varying very much in space and time, and they are also quite complex. You can have mineral dust or sea salt or soot. So observing this um, variety is really a challenge. When a cloud wants to form in the atmosphere, you first need a particle so that the first droplets can build up. And we need to know exactly which particles are where and when, and then only we can understand this. It's right, right now the largest uncertainty in understanding climate change. Well, when we started three years ago, the European data sets were, were not really competitive. But now we have reached a maturity that we can provide an independent data set to compare against what is, for example, provided from NASA, and this strengthens up the case of understanding the atmosphere. 